Hey guys, Frank here, your virtual general aviation aviator, and today I am in the 172NG, the digital 172 by L4 Labs. I am spun in at San Luis, California, and I am going to take a flight to Bakersfield, uh, California. So... In the process, I am hopefully going to familiarize myself with this 172 and talk about what makes it so great, if it's great at all, or uh, what I do and don't like about it. Hopefully, I won't find much, if not anything, that I don't like about it. So, let's go ahead and take control. So, the first thing I want to do is go ahead and click this take control button and that gets me in the cockpit. Now, I do have um, some stuff running and I need to um, to get it configured. So hold on for a second. OK, so it appears that it's not that f compatible with um, pilot with um, X camera, uh, and I, sus I suspect it's because it's got its own set of views that I can get by pulling it down to the bottom here. Um, let's see if I can show you that. So if I pull it down to the bottom here, then I got this quick look where I can um, quickly jump from place to place, kind of like X camera would. So it's got its own set of X camera type features built into it, which is really cool, especially for me, since I never really took a full advantage of the, the, the options, the benefits that X camera tend to offer. So, I should be in a cold and dark state, uh, in fact, uh, to ensure that I'm in a cold and dark state, then I am going to go ahead, go ahead, I am going to click on this cold and dark, and that might put some covers on, uh, let's see what happens, I heard some stuff happen, um, so I do know some stuff happened. And I'm going to pop back outside and see if I can see uh, anything. I see I got my static elements on and I got it tied down. So, so yeah, uh, so let's go ahead and get started. And the first thing I want to do is check my fuel. Um, let's see. Poor... And so make sure that's pushed in. Okay, make sure your flow is checked. I'll be draining from both tanks. And it does have a checklist. Um, actually, checklist is here. And I have not been through the checklist. So uh, I'm just now really getting familiar with this aircraft. Uh, I did take a flight in it, um, so uh, we'll we'll just look at pre-flight. We're not going to go through all of the pre-flight stuff um, in the interest of time, but the P-top cover um, and uh, we get removed when I uh, remove the the static elements uh, from this panel okay in fact let's go ahead and do that all right so Pete and is this clickable I guess not uh, pilot's handbook is accessible I'm looking at it now um, um, arrow documents of violent um, reference guide weight and balance okay so let's um, go ahead and do our weight and balance now let's see um i think i fly with two passengers today 
And let's do 40 pounds of baggage. Let's see what happens. Now, note my zero fuel weight that that I have here and I don't want to get outside of the of the um, envelope here so so let's see 40 pounds in baggage a uh, let's see and uh, okay that did not change um, 40 enter okay there we go and and we've got gas you know there are a couple ways to put gas in this is the simple way let's go with 18 gallons and um yeah 18 gallons in each tank well let's go with 20 gallons that's a good round number um and now the uh just for the sake of um of illustration let's see if we can't put gas in the other in the other tank the other way um now that entails moving the camera or moving the camera around on the outside which i am not that good at so let's see best way i think to get outside at least for me because i tend to not do uh, a bunch of this type stuff, but uh, let's move this guy over. Click on this guy here, and that gets me outside. And now, what I don't know how to do <laughs> is walk around out here. Uh, so let's, uh, I'm just going to close this down for the time being. And Let's see, so I don't really know how to walk around outside, you know, um, so, but let's see, maybe it'll let me, let me do what I want to do from here, uh, let's see, I think I can step there, yeah, then get here, and now, um let's see uh gas 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 uh do, 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 do. I'm not sure, sure how to add that two gallons let's see if there's anything clickable whoops nope not that <laughs> um so I think there may be 2D panels. Um, let's try this. Nope, that's not it. I'm not sure what that is. Um, okay, well, we get well. We see we only got 16 gallons in, so so. I do say that what I, what's showing on the gauge is actually matching here. So let's uh, get this guy out. Whoops. Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. Just click on it. All right. And unit price. Oh man, I wish gas was a buck seventy. Uh, it's probably more like four ten. Um, and gallons to fill tank um let's see uh reset counter we want two gallons now i wonder if i can well we do it this way whoa Uh, 410. Let's see. I don't know how much gas did I just put in. Oops. Let's see what I got here. Well, we got 26 gallons. All right. So, 
Um, we can live with that. Let's put our gas cap back on, lock it, and get rid of this guy. And we will. Okay, so now let's get back down. So maybe if I clip back on here, let's see if. Um, nope, that didn't work. But anyway, enough of this. Um, I don't want to spend. But I don't know what this line is. Oh, okay, I'm in a building. I think I'm just inside. The camera's just placed inside the building. Okay, so let's get back in the cockpit. And um, so we do know we got a fuel imbalance. We got um, 20, oh, we got a full tank in the right tank anyway. We're just going to make it match through the magic of, of, um, wow, got too much. I'm outside the, um, I'm outside the, the envelope here. Um, so let's get this kid here. She's, uh, 120. Um, and let's see, I see one guy who can look a little bit like me, um, if he only had glasses on, um, but I just use him, and I'm using her because she's 120, um, and let's, um, so I'm telling her, uh, the 15 pounds and baggage B is stuff that I keep on the aircraft all the time, twos and whatnot, so I can't take that off. But but we've got to get rid of some of this baggage. All right, so let's try taking off 10 pounds and see what happens. Okay, enter. And that didn't do very much. Let's take another 10 pounds off. Um, 20, back where we started from, enter, and that's close, I tell you, if, uh, if we both go P, then <laughs> we might be okay, but, um, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to be a little bit nose heavy on takeoff, um, but. I'm sure that, um, you know, I don't have a density altitude issue. So I'm going to go ahead and take off with um, with this configuration. Now, to go to Bakersfield, I don't really need 120 pounds or 240 pounds of total fuel. But, um, but that's what I am going to take off with. All right. What's next? Um, so... Um, we are in the aircraft now. If I did, if I didn't want to do coal and dark, I can uh, just go before start. And now, all I need to do is just um, set my mixture. And oh, this is twistable. Cool. Little things like that is what make this aircraft so much more realistic than any other Cessna that I've ever flown uh, so far. Okay, so, um, so you know, I'm at before start, and of course, I pull out my before start checklist, um, which would be, da, 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 let's see, um, normal pre-flight, um, uh, let's see, how, how do we how would we get to before start in Panarch. Okay, so we got a okay before start. So this is where I would start up at page um um and you know go through the the uh, checklist here. In fact I may even just do that because if we look at the checklist 
um, to do the the pre-flight is four pages long and that's just a lot of um, time um, I don't mind putting in the work but when I'm making a video uh, I do consider time to be a factor because a lot of you guys will look at a video and you say oh god that thing is three hours long I'm not even gonna even start to watch that let me open my door because you can see my windows are starting to fog up um, so get some air in here all right so um, but anyway just to go through the pre-flight checklist to give you an idea of what's what kind of stuff you can do is um, parking brake set Control wheel remove, magnetos off, avionics bus, master switch, primary flight display, low fuel annunciators, oil pressure annunciators. So, you know, we're just checking stuff uh, before we get started. Because after we get started, it is too late. Page two, pedo T heat switch, make sure it works. Um, and master switch, um, out and battery. We'll turn that back off. Um, jet trim, fuel selector, um, fire extinguisher. Uh, let's see, fire extinguisher is in here somewhere. And my hat switch is starting to stick. And from what I've been told, it could be the wire. Um, let's see, where is my fire extinguisher. I thought I saw it before. Um, let's see. It must be behind the seat or somewhere. Uh, well, I don't know where it is. Um, I know I was flying. I fly so many aircraft that I can see it in my mind's eye in a certain place. But um, but it's not in that place in this aircraft. Okay, but anyway, um, um, and it might be back here somewhere. Let's just check. I'm curious. And don't see it. And But it's it's on here somewhere. Um, I was watching a a air safety video or AOPA video not too long ago, and uh, they talked about how important it is to actually make sure you can pull out the fire extinguisher because knowing where uh, knowing where it is and not being able to pull it out is a recipe a recipe for disaster in case you have a fire all right so engine compartment door and these are just stuff that you can check um that's page two right wing you know so i kind of do a walk around with this kind of stuff um and um okay and you know it just dawned on me why this stuff is not checking off by itself uh why it wasn't clickable clickable i <laughs> can't, can't say that word um, I think I recall seeing somewhere, uh, let's, I know I just hit that and with this guy, well, okay, I think I need to hit the settings button here, and I think I got, I got it on manual, if I had it on semi-automatic, then, um, then it would become clickable, and automatic, automatic, um is um we just I think highlight the stuff that need to be checked semi automatically will still allow me to go through stuff um I think step by um item by item. All right. Anyway back. Okay. So page four and I am 
I am on um, manual. Okay, disconnect and et cetera, et cetera. All right, so that gets us to the before engine start, which is where I really want, want to get to. Uh, so let me go through some of the stuff that I should have went through. Okay, so let's get back up in the pallet seat. Find that click spot here. Uh, there we go. Click on the seat. All right. So, um, key is in the ignition. Get out of the building here. I think figure out what's going on with my wire. I hit my hat switch and nothing happens. All right. There we go. And bring this on over here. So yeah, I got all my my elements removed, no chalk, so I'm, I should be pretty much ready to go before I start. Now, uh, I do have a standby battery, so let's go ahead and, um, actually, the standby battery has a test, and I think I saw somewhere that you hold this down for 10 or 20 seconds or so. I'm not sure what happens after uh, 10 Well, I don't think anything happens. It's just to if the button stays green after 20 seconds, then it, I think everything works as it's supposed to. All right, so let's get the uh, standby battery on. And while that's starting up, let's see if we can't move things forward. Now, I don't know what the weather is, and I am connected to Pallet Edge. Um, so this will be a Pallet Edge flight. And I haven't filed a flight plan, um, but I think I can go to Fellows and then direct to to Fellows v VOR and then direct to Bakersfield. Let's see, Sky Vector. Let's bring that in. And oh man, the weather in my neck of the woods is is terrible. KSBP. Uh, the weather over here is um yeah B B F R. All right, and then Bakersfield is K B Bakersfield. And Meadowsville, um, the town is Bakersfield, but the the airport is Meadowsville. Go figure. Anyway, um, so what I tend to do is I tend to fly to this fellow's VOR, um, and it likes to give me the winner for departure um, which I don't I guess I can do the winners for departure um, even though I am going to fly VFR um, now I know some departures they don't like for you to fly if you VFR um, this is a class D airport so I don't think it's going to make any difference. The flight's going to be about 45 minutes long because my airspeed's probably going to be at roughly 105 or so. Um, and my altitude is, uh, I'm going east. East is odd. Um, I got a 44 foot, a 4,400 foot mountain here. So I think we would be okay at 5,500. All right, so it's going to take me about 50 minutes. All right, let's get back into the sim. 
and start an avionics bus and I didn't think that would work with bus with the standby battery but I, I wasn't sure okay and the standby battery is really small um, and yeah okay so let's go ahead and turn the battery and alternator on turn off this warning um, check the brake brake is engaged fuel is on trim is set um, <clears throat> and um, that's not what I wanted I want the checklist okay before I start I want to go to the next checklist engine start okay well anyway free fighting okay passenger brief brakes set circuit breakers in now because the circuit breakers are modeled then it's probably good to check and electrical equipment's off um avion is off fuel selectors both fuel shut off is pushed in and that's complete and we go to the next okay so we're gonna start with the battery okay so mixture control is gonna be shut cut off open a quarter inch and stand okay this is where i get that that standby battery test which i've already done um and votes well i didn't actually look at the votes but i do see 24.4 so so that's good um and 1.5 on the let's say i need 1.5 um now that's max i got negative 2.4 because i'm actually pulling amps out of the battery um but um but i'm actually on the master <laughs> so let's uh well let's still armed okay um so prop area all right so yeah i think we're ready to start all right so let's turn these back on and let's clear prop I don't see anybody out there let's go ahead and shut that door and clear on the right here all right and i wish this was was translucent uh okay clear prop and mixture is cut off okay and beacon now the bravo the bravo lights this for some reason i'm sorry not the bravo but that honeycomb alpha is not allowing me to control the lights so i'm gonna have to do it this way um and we are gonna prime it okay so fuel pump let's see whoops let's see go here yeah i had to make sure that this was on uh fuel pump goes on and makes your full rich that should get some fuel flowing and then we'll turn it off turn this guy off and now the the honeycomb bra uh, alpha sw switch works clear prop again and no joy all right and that's because i didn't control my mixture joy all right so we'll try this again prime it one more time 
Now I can look and see if I'm if I'm flooding it. And clear prop. And I bet I flooded it. All right. So get rid of this guy. Kill that noise. Okay. So, like I said, I can look to see if I flooded it. And where I want to do is go to engine. Uh, I want to find the one that, there you go, 2D panels engine. So I got it over primed. Um, so what I'm going to do is lean it all the way out and crank it. Move that gas out. Um, pull the throttle all the way back out to idle. And And I don't see it moving. That should burn. That should cause some of that gas to burn off. Okay, I needed to open the throttle. Let that starter motor rest a second. And all right, so got that started and Need to check, bring that down to about a thousand, bring the RPMs down to about a thousand, and check my oil pressure. Oil pressure is 92 psi, so got positive oil pressure. All right. And if the engine's flooded, place the mixture in the idle cutoff, open the throttle to one half and engage the starter motor. See, I didn't even read that. I just uh, kind of figured that out. Oh, it's noise. It's amazing how when you busy, how you don't even hear things. All right. So, next page. Oil pressure check, amps. And and say alternators on and I can actually turn off this this guy here. Alright. So I'm not sure what's going on with amps. Um, that may be looks like it's saying roughly about negative fifty amps on average just by looking at it, but let me rev it up a little bit. Yeah, so maybe it's charging the battery. I don't know what's going on. Uh, I think the voltage charges the battery. Um, I'm, I'm not sure. Um, if you guys know, leave it in the comments. All right. So we turn avionics bus one and two on, and we have completed the engine start. Um, go past the one with the GPU. Well, let's just look at it. So if I was using the GPU, I would use this checklist. Uh, but I did a battery start, so, um, and, uh, Magneto's 
let's see now where am I page two of GPU okay before takeoff all right so um, cabin doors are closed and locked pass parking brake is set passenger heat okay flight controls free and correct so all that stuff I still got to do all right so what's next And did I ever file a flight plan with Pilot Edge? I did not. Okay. Um, so, as far as I know, I would do that on their website. Um, they used to have a page that I could go to back years ago that was sweet but I haven't seen that page lately um, and I don't see a link to it so go to Pallet Edge and file a flight plan um, via FARA and I am November Say so today I'm flying November 172 Tango Hotel. I think it's Tango Hotel, but check. Tango Hotel, yep. And I'm looking right here. All right. And flight plan. All right, C172, and I'm going to use G. True L speed is going to be 110. Well, let's go 105. Um, I'm at KSBP, my, 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 um, I'm going to Bakersfield. And cruising altitude is going to be 55. And alternate is not going to be this let's uh, pop in the sky vector alternate is going to be uh, let's make the alternate I start to say Mojave uh, but we can find something closer than that uh, I guess we'll do L45 um, that's the closest one, and for Cessna, L45 is fine. Okay, so L45. And route is gonna be fellows. And then direct, okay? Cause we were in sky vector. Yeah. So, and I'm not gonna put the one of four departure in. In fact, I am gonna actually take that out of my flight plan. Um, and that way we can just go direct. Now. I do know that I'm going over this uh, California condors, endangered species nesting in high mountain and bear trap canyon study areas. Pilots are requested to maintain 3,000 feet of terrain clearance. So at 5,000, at 5, I should be okay. And this is the area that I want to be above right so I'm not a high mountain that would be this area okay so I want him be in that area high mountain and bear trap this is high mountain and this is bear trap okay so we got that sorted out and 
And yeah, so uh, let's go back to Sky Vector and make sure that we don't have any more waypoints. Now, sometimes I fly over over TAF just to give me some, um, some how shall I say, um, in case I have an engine problem, then, you know, it give me an, a, a, idea where I could stop um, or land. Yeah, so let's go ahead and follow that plan. All right. And that only added one minute. Okay, so I'm good. All right, so um, and that's L17. And um, <laughs> Rusty been a while. Rusty Sim palette. Let's see. Rusty, yeah. Rusty um, PE Sim palette. <laughs> it's been a while. Well, okay. And are we ready to file? We can file. Um, okay. Okay, so yeah, I think we are good to go. We're gonna, we're gonna use real weather. Um, let's see. So, KSBP. I thought that was filled out. And aircraft type C one seventy two. Okay, and then uh, I think we're good to go now. Yep, so we are fouled. 172 t uh, Tango Hotel. All right. And we can get back in the cockpit. Oh, man, what happened to our, to our Avonics? Uh, let's see. Did we have a failure already on the ground? I guess we did. Wow. That sucks. All right, so. And Wow. All right, so. Oh, oh, I, well, is it, no. I know, yep, it's not lighting, that lighting. Okay. So. Yep, the uh, battery failed. All right, so we're going to fix it. And I know we wouldn't normally fix it while we are sitting here with the with the lights, with the uh, engine running. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and click Fix All Components. Click this guy, trying to warn us off. And, and now you see how dark that is. That's what I was talking about. So I do need to turn my back light on this up. That's kind of what I thought may have happened before. All right. So let's put in our flight plan. And use this display here to do it and and fellows I like that it starts out with a K I guess if you were in 
some other country other than the United States, you wouldn't like that. All right, fellows, okay, enter. And then L17. And I should pop that out because that will help you be able to see what I'm doing. So I am going to go ahead and pop. Well, let's try this. Let's do. Let's see. Well, let me just pop it out so that you're for your benefit. And I guess we could make it a little bigger for your benefit. All right. And L17. And then. Uh, destination is Bakersfield or Meadowsfield. Uh, okay. And B. And then fill. F L how I kind of remember this Baker's feel uh, metal feel metals feel all right enter and let's go back up here and let's set this guy for 5,000 yeah, 5,500, enter. And Bakersfield, elevation. Is 510, right? Airport, uh, they do have an airport diagram. Some fields don't. And so, 510. All right. So, what, um, make our. We'll go 700 for Bakersfield, and because that last 200, we definitely want to be um, where we we'll, we'll just that's just kind of our safety margin. All right, and we are good to go, and we got a flight plan set. All right, so what's next? Um, so I guess we'll call Tower. Now we at the um, ACI FBO. And we want to dial in our frequencies um, at um, this airport. Frequencies are 120.6 for Adels and 121.6 for ground and tower is 124. Okay. Now all this is always done um, in real life, but it's not really done sitting here on the tarmac with the prop spinning.
uh, because when that prop is spinning, you usually are spending money. Um, you in aviation for if you rent a plane or having the props spin, and you putting hours on the air, on the aircraft, and those hours cost you money. So this is not the way it would be done in real life. But anyway, um, let's see. We are uh, putting dialing in our frequencies. Yeah, we would. So we would have had. We would have had looked that stuff up long before now. Um, so we go to COM2. Uh, COM2. And that was 126. So let's get 6 here. And I hope you guys can see this. Let me zoom in a little bit further. Um, get 6 here. 5... 85, 610, 600, and then 120, and pop up here, get ground, and we want 6 again, a 600, and 121, pop that in. And we want tower, which is 124. One twenty-four. Uh, aircraft is moving around. I like the way it shakes like that. That feels so realistic. It's the small things that's that's adding to the immersion. That's how this colony is shaking. And uh and this is not XP let's see, do I have XP realistic on? I think I turned I think well, second tower, helicopter one seven seven Romeo Delta Mavic uh with information delta. Okay, so at that time I was sitting on a tarmac, we weren't hearing anything because it didn't have any frequencies dialed in. But now that I do, um, you may be able to hear. All right. So I turn that I turn some stuff down. I well, I try to turn the radios down a little bit. All right. So let's go ahead and call. Let's get our headphones on. And that dampens the noise from the outside. So I'm going to turn COM 1 off and listen to my ADOS. Actually, I need an ink pen so I can write stuff down. And give me just a minute, guys.
Okay. All right, so I think we are ready to call. So we can turn the uh, COM1 back on. Listen. And things sounding quiet. All right. San Luis Ground Skyhawks 172 Tango Hotel is at FBO Red the Taxi departing to the east. Santa Monica Tower, Red Taxi Tango Hotel Red So we're not going to request flight following. And I'm not sure he heard me. So we'll try to make this radio call again. Um, 121.6. Oh, yeah, we never did get our um, ATIS. Uh, so let's uh, pop down here, pop this in. I think that's the reason why we didn't get it. Come to the news. Three. Set on short instructions. Advise on initial contact. You have information, Mike. Mike. San Luis County Regional Airport. A to information, Mike. 1756 Zulu. Wind calm. Visibility 10. Sky condition clear. Temperature 9 or 2.3. Altimeter 3023. Arriving and departing runway 29 -er. Visual approaches in use. Read back all runway assignments and hold short instructions. Adv okay, so winds is calm and 3023 is the altimeter. Let's get the backup altimeter set first. 223 two, is going to be about right. Three zero two three. Uh, it's gonna be about right there, and then three zero two three. All right, and cross check. All right, and let's make this call one more time. Saint Louis ground. Cessna 172 Tango Hotel is at the ACI FBO ready to taxi with Mike departing to the east. All right, so something is not working. Okay, so I got that sorted. Um, it pushed the talk was not set up for this aircraft. Uh, got that sorted. Actually, we can turn this on and um, and turn on the Avatab and um, let's let's do. Three four zero five four taxi part via Alpha. Sorry, via Bravo monitor ground. Taxi park is via Bravo monitor ground eight four zero five four. Uh, back. I want Avatab and close us. I want maps. Yeah, because I can see where I'm at on the runway. If I zoom in, zoom out just a tad. So. This is where I'm going. Okay. San Luis Ground Skyhawk 172 Tango Whiskey is at ACI LBO Red the Taxi with Mike departing to the east. Everybody call San Luis at 172 Tango Hotel. Uh, Roger, 172 Tango Hotel. Number 172 Tango Hotel. 
172 Tango Hotel San Luis Ground, uh, runway 29 or taxi via Alpha. 29 uh, via Alpha 172 Tango Hotel. All right, so I got my clearance and we can release our brakes. November 2 Tango Hotel, did you want a VFR flight following? Or would you like VFR flight following? Do you want just VFR as the Delta? Um, if you're not busy, we might as well take the VFR flight following um, 172 Tango Hotel. Okay, number 2 Tango Hotel, verify your destination and then time to cruise out the please. And also your uh, aircraft type. Aircraft type is Cessna 172. Destination is Bakersfield and altitude is 5500. 72 Tango Hotel. Number 2 Tango Hotel, Roger. Departure frequency 124.15. Squawk 4725. Departure frequency is 120.4. Squawk. Four seven two five seven two Tango Hotel. Number two Tango Hotel. The departure frequency is one two four point one five twenty four fifteen. One two four point one five two Tango Hotel. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, King Air two one zero two. Let's go ahead and um, transient ramp ready to taxi Golf. Put that departure two, frequency two, one, two, in now. Eight right, taxi via Sierra Golf. Eight right via Sierra Golf, zero twisty. One two four point one five. All right, so we got our departure frequency in on COM two. One two four point one five. Now I got one two four. Point zero one. So let's fix that. All right, one two four point one five. All right, and we are ready to taxi. Let's lean just a touch for ground and pan out some. Test the brakes. And clear. All right. And let's see. Find the a way out of here. Alright, so I guess we can go to the right of, to the left of the tower. And we're in our non movement. Uh oh. And I just had a failure. This is the third time that this electric, this battery has failed. Um, I'm not sure what's going on. Um, so let's just fix it. Yeah, see the battery keeps failing. And is it something that I've done? Fortunately, it didn't wipe out my um, flight plan when that happens. And open this window again. All right. Sure ain't nothing coming.
and I'm not managing my lights so I need to get some uh, tax lights on I had a little drop out there in the recording because um, I ran out of disk space. All right, so let's uh, winds are calm, so so we don't have to worry about turning the nose into the wind, and want to keep our RPMs up around a thousand. So let's go ahead and turn. And now I keep having a ba my battery keep dying. And I'm not sure why I got my my bus on. Uh, let's just take a quick view. Um, let's see. I thought I could look there. And 2D panels. Uh, wrong one. 2D. Let's see. Clear that one up. Uh, 2D panel electrical. And so my alternator, yes, yeah, something is is failing. Electrical systems. Um, so if I fix all components, including my alternator. Make sure that I don't have any any static elements on. Remember, I was looking at this guy here, and this is meaning something. Something is not right. Um, so yeah, um, it's gonna break the immersion, but I am gonna continue with this video um, and even though I'm going to have to keep fixing the uh, Bakersfield ground uh, zero fox track all clear through three zero right and taxi to Atlantic zero fox track all Bakersfield ground taxi to Atlantic via Alpha Atlantic via Alpha zero fox track all thank you throttle up to about 1700 Check the right mag. Drop yeah, six. 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 Six with the electrical system um, so I got 10 amps here okay so maybe that just sorted all right so let's go ahead and line up and turn to um, ground all right back out a little bit so we can get in our seat comfortably. All right. And something is going on with my yoke. And I wish I could straighten that out anyway. Um, let's go ahead and call Tower, San Luis Tower, 
Skyhawk 172 Tango Hotel is at runway 29 are ready to depart. November 172 Tango Hotel, Fenwell Tower, on course departure approved, runway 29 are clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff on course 72 Tango Hotel, runway 29 are. All right, so the strobes come on, landing lights come on. Four. Taking the runway. Lining up on runway two, two nine. We're, we're in it. Get rid of that guy. Shot our lineup just a tad. Flaps 15 on the Cessna, they come down pretty quickly. Take out departure, zero standard, three tango hotel on the mist. That's uh, the nice. November 99 three tango hotel. Took out departure radar contact, say altitude, that is intentional. Air speeds alive. Uh, climbing 4600. Uh, we'd like to fly the mist to Santa Monica uh, VOR and then uh, vectors for the LDR approach. Full stop into the nice center at Three Tango Hotel. November 993 Tango Hotel, Roger. Uh, continue on the mist approach for now. Expect further clearance 1900 Zulu. Oh. Uh, expect further clearance 1900 Zulu and continue on the mist center at Three Tango Hotel. Thank you. Okay, just uh, let me know when you want to leave the mist approach. We'll go ahead and go down. Okay. 300 AGL, so I can raise those flaps. Trim. Go left downwind to a left downwind departure and then turn to the east. He's not busy, so he didn't tell me how he wanted me to depart, but I'm just used to doing a left downwind departure on this airport. Uh, from days gone by, the little rudder here in this turn. Try and stay coordinated. All right. Power back just a touch. Departure 172 Tango Hotel. Walker 709, contact Los Angeles Center 133. Sky condition clear. Temperature 9 or 2.3. Departure 172 Tango Hotel with you at 17 for 5500. Departure 172 Tango Hotel with you at 19,100. 19, so, I got, he's not hearing me. 12415, so let's go ahead. So that that's just great. So now I got because of this, I am behind the aircraft and try to get this dialed down. Let's see. One two 
five. Two, four. Flip that in. Departure, no, uh, Skyhawk 172, Tango Hotel, with you at 7,000 for 5,500. Wrote that down one, two, four. All right, so let's go zero two if you come and maintain one one time. And uh, zero two, if you would like to nine thousand if we can, and we're gonna see if we can pick up there for a visually and then go for the visual eight or cancel. Roger. Thank Departure one seven two Tango Hotel is with you at three thousand for five thousand five hundred. One seven two Tango Hotel Santa Barbara departures clock four seven two five and check every transponder is on. We'll call. Remember seven three four off being a front seven with power. Seven two five. And what are your intentions? Uh, it's going to be a cat three set, uh, three leaks, uh, in traffic. Number seven three four off the uniform, make left close traffic, report midfield downwind each time, runway two nine or three for takeoff. Make left downwind departure, report midfield. Left closed traffic. Not left down with departure. Make left closed traffic. All right. So now I need to get my altitude set for 5500. November 9 9 3 Tango Hotel. Roger. Fly heading 330. Center maintain 4000. Heading 330, descend and maintain 4,903, take over the dome. All right. Vertical speed. Carbon 2 and 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 2 Uh, All right. And okay, CDI is not something. Okay, autopilot is not on. All right. Get the autopilot turned on. Nav. All right, so I think I'm good now. Fellows, yeah. All right. And come back off of the, and then lean a little bit. One seven two Tango Hotel. Okay. <laughs> Now, when I watch other guys 
fly. Are they it, they make it look so easy, and you can see how task intensive it is. For one thing, um, I chat with a guy named Ron, and he, like me, doesn't really like the um, the glass cockpit. For one thing, I am inundated with information here, and 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 I haven't built muscle memory to the extent that I know exactly where to look to see things. Now, so the result is so the result okay so the result is I got behind the aircraft and really got tasks really got kind of overwhelmed there for a second Okay, so, now I can pull it back to about 2300 knot uh, on the R on the RPM. I need the lean. Need to go to lean here. Do lean assist. Go rich. All right. So we are using six gallons per hour, six point six gallons per hour. Or pressure is is fine. Or temp is fine. 108 indicated 113 over the ground. I'm in 16 true. Three zero two two is my altimeter. And so the rest of the flight is kind of, kind of relaxed and kind of enjoy some scenery. Oh, still got a door open, window open. That's not good. Is my door open? Oh, shucks. That's not good either. <laughs> Good thing we looked, but that would not have happened in real life because there's no way I could not have known that my door was, wasn't closed. All right, so I am going to have to turn this, ooh, this air on. And don't really need any heat, but 
I do need that air to keep the windows from fogging up. Outside air temperature is zero, so it's pretty chilly. I can back out a little bit. Zero seven three four Alpha Uniform Runway two nine. Click for the option. Back off the RPM. Twenty three is a good RPM for cruise. All right, 5,500, just kind of monitoring systems here. And I can turn my landing okay, light tower, off. Helicopter 177, Romeo Delta, and the with information taxi. echo, looking for a north departure Tito, along he the strip, go on. and then uh, exit your airspace to the east. Uh, and I need a little bit more heat. Number 177, Romeo Delta, Las Vegas Tower, Clinton to Las Vegas, Class Bravo Airspace, uh, departure from Maverick. So my windows are trying to fog up. Clearing in Class Bravo, on risk, 177, Romeo Delta. Number 6, Miami Juliet, contact Santa Barbara Tower, 119.7. 197 for 690, good day. I forgot to put my squat code in. So, really rusty here. So my battery looks okay. Let's check our electrical system. See if that sorted out. Remember this was negative. The ounce was negative 50 at one point. And now everything is in the blue. It was pink. And yeah, things are looking a lot better. So, I can actually turn off my standby battery now. Sandler Woods Tower, Day King Air 6 from HD Papa is about 10 miles to the south, 2,500 with Mike uh, inbound to Toledo. 19 miles from the Fellows. That gives us 11 minutes. And I am doing. I am following my flight on four flight. So you see here, I did this circle um, when I thought my autopilot was engaged and it wasn't. Um, so. so let's take a look at the outside of this aircraft. So you can see You see how well everything is modeled here. Just gorgeous. Look at that. I mean in that look at that. Hotel, Los Angeles Center 135.5. Los Angeles Center 135.5 172 Tango Hotel. Three,
Los Angeles Center, Sky Hall 172 Tango Hotel with you at 5,500. Santa Barbara departure, what was that frequency for 172 Tango Hotel? 135.5. 135.5, Roger. 172 Tango Hotel. Los Angeles Center, Sky Hall, 172 Tango Hotel with you at 5,500. Roger that. Um, increasing the 7,500, 172 Tango Hotel. Memory is just. I think you said 3018. All right. Let's get this. So 
because I need to hold a 90, at least a 90 knot climb. And I need to. thousand to go. Got to remain clear of clouds. Got a little deck there. Not a factor. Actually, I want to turn my radio up a little bit, just a touch. In fact, I probably had my radio down so low, you guys may not have been able to hear it. Just about 300 to go. Leading off airspeed though, so I'm gonna come down a little. Let's go to lean assist. Lean for this new. Power back to twenty three fifty. Okay, contact ground with your request, please. You're on the power frequency. Ah, uh, twenty four hundred. Yeah, I'm okay here. Hundred sixteen over the ground, but I'm bleeding off air speed because I just powered back. Let that settle out. Finally got the fellows. And after I make my turn, I want to set my head bug. changed and hit set my head book right. 
and another look at the outside. Can't really hear the radio from outside. Let's see. I'm sure my headphones are on. They are. Three, six, one, six, no count approach, go ahead. Outside air temperature is one degree. Three three four one six four five one five seven. Three three four one six contact Tucson Mountain for the homeland via our Palm Spring Bolt Center Tree Three Two Tree. Sorry about that, guys. I'll uh, mute the phone. I just muted the phone. I need to make that part of my checklist when I'm doing a video. All right. So, I think he's going to hand me out to Joshua Approach um, at some point. And let me reach over, look at four flight. And Yeah, so I, I just I don't know at what point I get handed off. But I am on course twenty four minutes to to destination. Walker seven zero nine so there are two one seventy twos. I'm one of them. Over the ground at one oh six. Got don't have a head win. Four and two Papa Alpha, so can we first clear to the Prescott Airport as filed, maintain one one thousand, departure frequency one two six point seven, clock one four four six, full for release. Uh, I wouldn't I don't know what was going on with the electrical system earlier. Four and two Papa Alpha are back, correct? Ain't a lot to do on these long flights, but monitor your instruments, listen to the radio, and look out the window. I'm going east. Seven thousand one seven two here, Papa Terra heading two zero zero. And I won't be at fifty five hundred at Taft now. 
Taft Kern or uh, L-17, which is what my flight director is telling me that I should be at. Bakersfield approach 118.8, 172 Tango Hotel. All right, so I finally heard one. Bakersfield approach Skyhawk 172 Tango Hotel 7500. November 172 Tango Hotel Bakersfield approach Bakersfield altimeter 3030 information Charlie Grant. One seven two Tango Hotel. Walker seven zero nine contact Los Angeles Tower one two zero point nine five. Walker seven zero nine Los Angeles Tower might two five left cleared to land. And I need to get the ADAS for Bakersfield. Let's see, so that's... I don't know my left from right. Okay, right pattern. Let's see, I guess you guys want to shoot. He's looking at what I'm looking at. All right, 118.6. I know I'm too far out to hear it, but Let's, let's see. Instruction. Advise on initial contact. You have information, Charlie. Charlie. Meadows Field, Acres Field, California. A to information, Charlie. 1854 Zulu. Wind 350 at 4. Visibility 5. Hey. Ceiling 1900 overcast. Temperature 9 or. 2.4, altimeter 3030, arriving and departing runway 30 left, 30 right, ILS runway 30. 30, 30, and 30 left and right, 350, and visibility is Okay, so unless I'm going to go to Mojave.
I don't like the haze. Visibility is five. So that's right on the margin of being um so let's Let's set. Let's see if we can't do it. An IL. Uh, four six zero Tango Papa, so Calipert, Ontario, Alberta, Cruiser One A. All right, so enter. Enter. And minimums. Yeah, because I'd be hand flying it at this point. So we're 25 miles from Bakersfield and we need to start our descent. All right, so we need to. All right, so we need to go to. Um, Walker seven zero nine cross two five right at Juliet, full short of Bravo contact ground. Okay, so let's fix our heading book and. that about all right so all right so we are 22 nautical miles out and I do know I want to do a setup for a left downwind so, so let's uh, swing our head in a little bit north, and then we'll fly that head in. Alright, so I 
I thought I just muted the speaker for the markers. I guess that's not working properly. Alright, so let's get down. I'm looking for my airport. So, that's my airport there. Make sure we still got Charlie. Instructions. Advise on initial contact. You have information, Charlie. So I'm almost getting ready to turn to the field. And I think I want to turn to 110. Go up a little bit.
right, let's go ahead and make this turn. This shit, they're building. Contact Bakersfield Tower, um, Squat VFR 172 Tango Hotel. Bakersfield Tower, Skyhawk 172 Tango, Whiskey is four miles, uh, uh, four miles to the east, to the west, inbound, four stop. says one eight Bakersfield Tower, Skyhawk 172, Tango Hotel is four miles to the west inbound four stop. The number 172, Tango Hotel, Bakersfield Tower, report midfield, back left downwind, runway 30 right. Report midfield, left downwind for 30 right, 172, Tango Hotel. Uniform request ILS 25 right or 25 left, correction. 
Alaska 46, there are some Alaska 416, still have a perch on Federal Pulse, some of the trees are 18, expect I left the perch on my 25 left. Number three, three, four, seven. Contact departure. 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 Contact departure.
Long Beach Tower, Sears 591 Sierra Charlie going left. Sears 591 Sierra Charlie, under fly the missed approach is published. We'll fly the published missed, one Sierra Charlie. Just to clarify, you got my uh, request is Cat 9, correct? Who's asking for the Cat 9 request? I was wondering if I, um, if you got it when I told you with my request on the ground. I still don't get the call five. November 35th, I'll pop that call. Yes, we do have your Cat 6. Alright. Or your Cat 9, sorry. Thank Damn. you. On the ground. The number 5901 Sierra Charlie contact, so count departure 128.1. 182 Tango Hotel, contact ground 121.7. 121.7, 172 Tango Hotel. Bakersfield ground 172 Tango Hotel is clear the runway. Ah, uh, yeah, parking at uh, FBO. I think it's uh, Atlantic. Atlantic via Alpha. Good day, 172 Tango Hotel. for four. Okay, guys. <laughs> so, there's a lot that I didn't do that I could have done better with, I won't say a lot that I didn't do right with, but that I could have just done better. Um, and I'm not going to sweat it. The uh, airport looked like it has changed since last I, I was here. Uh, I do know that I want to exit Alpha 4. So this is Alpha 8. And I want to exit to the left, Alpha 4, and that should put me right at Atlantic. Um, and I do have my trusty um, four flight app that's helping me out. Not really looking at it because I've already looked at it. This is Alpha 6. So, should have Alpha 5 here, and Alpha 4 is within view. All right, turn my left signal on.
and actually if we scroll in on this guy might be able to see a little bit better where Atlantic ought to be and Atlantic ought to be this guy here probably and we just park somewhere up in here all right so I don't know what was going on with my electrical at the beginning of the flight, but that seemed to have sorted out. So I'm happy about that. And flaps. T top heat can come off. Strobes can go off. Beacon stays on. Avionics can go off and lean battery and tie it down and yeah and we are done all right so um, I got the hops got 212 hours on it. I think I put two hours on it. Okay. Um, and my mags are hot. So I'm going to turn that off and remove the key. Okay, somebody in case the wind grab the wind or something pick up and grab those props I don't want it starting the aircraft I'll turn this tablet off and take the headset off and hop out and I am done All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the flight. It was surely interesting, and this aircraft is truly amazing uh, for the 172. Um, it's $50 um, rounded, and it's worth every penny of it. Uh, there is a lot about this aircraft that I have yet to discover, I'm sure. Um, but, um, but yeah. Um, and I, you know, the fact that everything works is absolutely amazing. Uh, I've got my sectional chart here. I've got my pilot handbook. I've got all kinds of pa uh, panels that I can that I can use. Um, and I got save aircraft condition on and the configuration so the next time I do a flight in this aircraft um, if uh, it would make sense to spawn back in at the same location so that I can um, take off and continue flying um, look like I use let's say I think I started out with um, shucks what well, I don't remember how much gas, I think 80 gallons per per tank. I think it was 80 gallons. Um, I don't actually remember, but um, but yeah. So I, if you recall, my, my envelope was way up here when I started, but I did burn a lot of gas sitting on the tarmac uh, getting stuff set up. Anyway... Hope you enjoyed the flight as much as I did. In fact, I almost don't want to end the flight, but 
uh, I got to go walk the dog. Life happens, right? All right. So until next time. Y'all come back now. Yeah.